What's up, everybody? My name is Parasite. Welcome back to Schoolboy to Superstar with Borussia Dortmund. Today we have Eintracht Frankfurt in the Bundesliga and then Real Madrid in the last game of the Champions League group stage. We have a chance to win the group if we just don't lose. If you look at the group, we are on 13 points. Real Madrid are on 10. Our head-to-head -head so far has been a draw at, our, at home for us. So they actually lost to Olympiacos away from home, which is surprising, but... Bad loss for them, but yeah, we've got a chance. Just don't lose this game, and we're going to win the group. But no matter what, we're still guaranteed top two, so I'm not too fussed, but I'd, I'd rather have the easier draw. The other games we played, uh, since we played Bayern Munich, we beat Hertha 4-0, a really good performance. They had a sending off, but it wasn't until the match was already sealed. We'd already had all four goals. We were 4-0 up, and then they had a sending off. Holland scored a brace. Sancho scored. Dehoud scored. So, pretty good game from us. Then played Young Boys, beat them 1 0. Uh, Sancho scoring the second minute goal, then Hummels gets sent off late in the game for a, just a two foot lunge. We started pretty much most of the starters for this game. Califiori had to start because we've had some left back injuries. Piszczek had to start. Hummels obviously got that sending off, which was not great. It was kind of squeaky going on to, on to the end of the game, but we were able to make it through the game without conceding, so we kept our spot at the top of the group. Then played Cologne and got another draw, 1-1, and no one scored until the 90th minute. Julian Brandt came up, popped up with a goal in the 90th minute for us, and then in the 93rd minute, Maximilian Meyer, with an absolute screamer from outside the area, scored and, and made it end in a draw. That was really frustrating because I felt like we edged the game, but we just weren't good enough. Then we went to Olympiacos away, and unlike Real Madrid, we won. 3-0, so comfortable victory. Holland with another brace, one of them a penalty, but we were up 3-0 in the first half and then just coasted through the rest of the game. Again, we had to play like guys like Calafiori, Akanji, Zagadu played because of the sending off for Hummels. Other than that, it was mostly starters. And they pr pretty much played well for the most part. Sancho picked up a little bit of a knock, which means he's not going to be able to start this game, but he'll be fine for the Real Madrid game. Uh, if we look at our actual team we're going with, do the opposition instructions. This is a squad I'm going to have to go with. Piszczek's going to start it right back. Just I want to do a little bit of rotation ahead of the Real Madrid match. And I trust Piszczek to be fine, so I'm going to give him the start in this match. Munier can start against Real Madrid. I am going to start Hummels and Kanji because uh, Zagadou's injured. He's out for pretty much no more time, but I don't want to risk getting him injured. So uh, Kotchup's going to come onto the bench, and Hummels and Kanji will start. Calafiori has a, to start again at left back because both Guerrero... And Schultz are injured. Guerrero can come back, but he's not fully fit. Schultz can come back, but he's not fully fit. So I'm not going to risk him. I'm just going to go with Calafiori. Witzel's going to start a defensive midfield. Dehoud and Rayner are going to start a center midfield. Just do a little bit of rotation there. Dropping Bellingham for the game. Uh, Hazard's going to start on the right for, Sa for Sancho, who's, like I said, is a little bit tired. Not fully fit to play this match. So I'll save him for the Real Madrid game. But I'll go with Royce and Holland up top because I need... I need some strength up top, some strength in this team to score some goals if we're going to win this match, because it's, it's not a gimme. So, I tracked Frankfurt are a good team, so we have to respect them a little bit and play some of our starters. So, only a slight bit of rotation. Some of them not in the best form. Witzel not in the best form. Thorgan Hazard, Giovanni Reina not in the best form, but Reina's coming off of a pretty decent game, scored a 7.2. Hazard's had a couple decent games in a row, two over seven in a row. Witzel had a couple good games... Not his last match, but the game before. 6.6 .6 last match, but 7.3 the one before. And he's a little bit less defensive. I feel like we can go a little bit more attacking against Frankfurt, but so I'm not going to go with Delaney or Emery Chan. I think I'm going to rest Chan for the next match. I think he's going to start against Real Madrid. Where do I start Delaney? I mean, Delaney's more defensive, and we just need to hold on. So maybe I do start Delaney. So maybe I'll start Chan this match, because he won't start, I don't think. I'm probably going to go with Reyna and Bellingham. Actually, I might go with Chan and Bellingham. Because Rain has not been good. Unless he has another good match here today. So I'm not going to risk Chan just yet. I'm going to start him on the bench. I'm definitely not going to play Witzel, Witzel for the next match. So I can play him here just fine. So let's get into it. See how we can do. Kind of see if we can get some good form to set up to go into the Real Madrid match in flying fashion. So let's get into it. I'm going to say I expect nothing but a win from this match to keep our good run going. They all like that. Tell them I have faith. Preparation is everything in football these days. 
and you may feel you know what to expect from Eintracht Frankfurt. Can you see them employing any tactical surprises? I feel suitably prepared. Eintracht Frankfurt's recent good run has them third in the Bundesliga form table. How much of a threat do they pose? Uh, they're going to make life hard for us. They're a good team in good form, and we'll have to be at our very best to get something. So that's not great there in good form. One loss in their last five and a draw. Playing this 5-2-1-2 with some pretty dangerous strikers. So they've got goal potential in that squad, even though they're playing five at the back. With the front two, if they're firing, they can easily you know, bury us. So Leipzig actually at the top of the table right now, ahead of Bayern Munich. We're in third, just two points below Leipzig. So we're still in the championship race. So we're not out of it just yet. So we haven't had the best start. We've had a lot of draws, but I still think we're going to be good. We've had a lot of injuries, and we've had some inconsistencies from Holland. If he gets into some good form, he could just single-handedly carry us to the championship. I'm not fully expecting us to win the league this season. Really, like the whole point of this series is to win the Champions League with, like I said, a bunch of players who are homegrown at clubs. So this is a long-term save. I can't win this save. I can't finish this save in the next two seasons. Unless some of them are under-18s or just turn into superstars overnight. I don't think that's going to happen. So this is a long-term save. So it's going to... I'm going to take it slow. I'm not going to expect everything from the off. This has been a very tight match so far. Both teams on two shots on target. Both teams with similar XG. I think they've had one more shot, and now they don't, because Marco Royce finds the back of the net. Piss check with the cross. Royce coming to the far post or coming to the near post. And just places it basically into an open net. Keeper doesn't get across. He's gotta be quicker getting across his net there. Getting across his goal line, because yeah, that's just far too easy from Piss check and uh, Royce. He just drives to the byline, pulls it back. Royce just runs across in front of the goalkeeper. Keeper's got to be more committed there. He's got to die for that or something because he can't just let Royce cross his face so easily. I think the goalkeepers are better this year. Like Their animations are better, but there's still some times that it just leaves a lot to be desired. Something like that where any, other, any real goalkeeper is scrambling across his goal line trying to get to that. But he just kind of sits there and watches him, watches him cut in front of him and put in an empty net. So Not the best in terms of gameplay but those are those are nice like those saves are perfect looks so realistic but there's just some animations that just aren't quite there yet but i trust they can figure it out it's a work in progress i think so it's it's better like i said it's better this year than it has been in years past as mahmoud dahoud i gave him the chance to to show me something with the start today he's been okay he's had one really good game recently but he finds the back of the net. And it was it Rando with the assist, I think? Because that is really nice if it was, because he's not been in good form. So see Rando get an assist is very nice. Dahoud puts it in the back of the net. We're 2 0 up, basically from nothing. We've had a, two shots in the last, oh, three shots in the last about 10, 15 minutes and scored two of them. So five shots all on target. We've been pretty clinical. Obviously, we could have scored all five shots, but that's not realistic. You can't, can't expect that, but. Passing-wise, we're not doing very well. They're destroying us in terms of possession, which possession is not really anything I'm focused on. I don't really care about possession. Just as an ethos or something, I just don't care. But passes completed, I'd like to be a little bit better than that. 80% is a little bit low, compared to that, especially compared to their 88%. I know I want to try some more risky passes. Like I, I'm not, I don't have it, so we're being more expressive or anything like that. And we just have a standard directness. but. I don't know. Got to toe the line between creativity and control. And I don't know if we're I don't really know if we're doing that right now, but we're winning, so I can't really complain. I'm gonna say I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. Yeah, I have no complaints other than our pass completion, which has gone up one percent in the first five minutes. So is theirs, but we're clawing back some of the possession little by little. Hopefully, we can have a better second half in terms of possession and ball you know pass percentage and all that as Vitzel's gonna end up with the ball now, I expect that a much better lot of Vitzel in there too because he's kind of the ball player he's, he's a good deep line playmaker even though I'm not playing him as deep line playmaker but he's ability to play that he's got playmaker attributes so I'd expect a little bit better pass completion from him especially I don't know what his is specifically but I mean if the whole team's is that low his can't be that high 
Because Andre Silva has a chance to throw on goal. Witzel makes the slide, but he can't win the ball. And Keeper is beaten far too easily. I think it was at his near post. I mean, he did put his foot behind that. Like, had the power of... The, of I don't even know. A freaking semi-truck behind that shot. But, yeah, that's far too easy to be ne beaten in your near post. He's far too far how wide. Like, I don't know what he's doing there. That positioning is so bad. He's got to be doing better there. He can't be beaten that easily at the near post. He has to be trying to protect his near post somewhat. He just left it wide open. At the angle he was, that's going to be hard to try to get that shot across his face and into the back of the net. He's got to play that perfectly. But when you're given that much space at the near post, it's just far too easy. As this game has really flown by in the last couple of minutes, no, neither team's really creating much. Dehude somehow scores a goal, but he's still only on a 6.9. That doesn't bode well for him. Going to bring in Emery Chan. Holland's had a terrible game. I'll bring in... I guess I'll put Royce up top. Actually, he's on a yellow. I might want to take him off. Actually, I might take off Witzel. Um, I'm going to leave Royce on. He's not probably not going to be likely to get another yellow from playing in that position. So I'll bring on Julian Brandt. Uh, I'll probably take off Witzel for Delaney. Just go a little bit more defensive. And in terms of instructions, I want to waste time. Uh, they're destroying us for possession, so I'm not going to try to win it because I don't think we're able to do that. So I'm not going to worry about possession. Uh, I don't think I want to change anything else. No, just leave it as it is. The way we've been playing has worked, so it's given us the lead, so that's all I care about. And it looks like we're going to see the game through. Very close game, very tight contested game, but we get through it with a win. That's what's important. Sometimes it's not all about the performance. It's about the result. Sometimes you really want you want the performance on top of it, but we got the good performances from a few players. Royce played well, Reyna played well, Piszczek played well. So much that so that if he's fit, I might start him next match because Munier has not really done anything to make me want to start him over a guy that's playing well. So I'm gonna say well done. That was a good win. I'm not gonna be too harsh on him. Eintracht Frankfurt are a good team, so that's a good result. The result takes Dortmund top of the league. Although RB Leipzig have a game in hand, you must be pleased with that. There's a lot of football yet to be played, and I think RB Leipzig still hold all the cards. One point ahead of Leipzig, but like I said, there's a game in hand. But we've got a really good goal difference. So did Freiburg. Somehow only on 15 points, but they have a plus 10 goal difference. So they're smashing some teams and then losing narrowly, I'm guessing. Guerrero's back in full training. A couple of the players I've been scouting that just don't seem to be that great. Troy Parrott seems to be okay, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to pry him away from... Uh, Tottenham. I'll see you now for the next match against Real Madrid. That's going to be the tough one. Like I said, we just need any kind of sort of result. Win or draw, and we're through top of the group. Hope we can get that result. We just got our youth intake, and it is looking tasty. This is exactly what I hope for. This is a terrific group of players coming through and has the potential to be a real golden generation for the club. We don't have any positional shortages in our future youth intake. Goalkeeper looks a great prospect. That looks to be Australian from Sydney. Uh, fullbacks have plenty of promise. Two center backs who look promising. Defensive midfielders. Uh, wide midfielders. Wing back. Uh, yeah. No great numbers in any specific position. We know there's at least two center backs, but central midfielders aren't very good, which kind of stinks. But we have plenty of good central midfielders and Reyna and Bellingham. And we need a defensive midfielder, but I'm fine with central midfielders for now. Attack midfielders don't look to be good. A few wingers, that's kind of disappointing. We do need some wingers. But, yeah, this could be good. Some fullbacks would be nice. Goalkeeper would be perfect. Obviously, we've got a pretty good goalkeeper with Martin Steck or not Stecklenburg, Martin Vandevoort. But I'll take another goalkeeper. If I can get a homegrown at club goalkeeper that came through our youth intake that can be a superstar, that'd be pretty cool. Like, he has a chance to be better than Vandevoort does. So, we'll see. We'll just see what happens. It's a good start, so now we need to see if we can actually get a good one. But first, we need to get some wins, so I've still got a couple days till I get to Real Madrid. I'll see you when I'm there. And we are back for the Real Madrid match, and this is the squad I'm going with. Rafael Guerrero is going to come right back in. He's fit. He's ready to play, so he's going to come right back in. Even though he's not playing well, I still trust him over a 
18-year-old Calafiori. You know, he was playing well, but this is Real Madrid. I think I need Guerrero in there. Kanji's been playing well, so he's going to keep his spot, even though Zagadou's fit. Hummels is going to keep his spot. Piszczek's going to keep his spot because he's playing well. Three straight really good games in a row, so he's going to keep his spot. Delaney's going to come in as defensive midfielder, so he can go a little bit more defensive. Same with Chan coming in as a Mazala. Bellingham just misses out. Rain has been really good in his last two matches, so I'm not going to drop him. I thought about bringing in Bellingham for him, but yeah, he's played well the last two, last two times we've seen the field, so I'm not going to take him off. Sancho comes back in. He's fit, ready to go. Royce on the left. Holland up top. Kind of what I think is basically one of our best squads. So all we need is a result. Win or draw, and we go through as group leaders. Even if we lose, we're still through to the next round, so it's not catastrophic but i still want to win i still want to get a result so let's just go out there and see what happens i'm gonna say we've been on a good run lately so go out there and impress me i'm not gonna say we're underdogs even though we probably are uh one big addition to this lineup actually is yusufa mukoko he's finally 16 so he can come in and play he's on the bench he says he's a three-star player which is he started the season as a two-star player so if he's grown a full star in half a season think how good he's going to be in two years like he's a just a monster he's going to be so good for us so he's finally going to come into the squad he can't be registered for the the uh, bundesliga just yet we have to wait till january so then he can come in and be a part of our squad he's probably going to make his way right on the bench i'll find a way to put him on the bench because i want to give him as much game time as possible he'll get some starts he'll get a, quite a few sub appearances but i really want to see him on the pitch hopefully we can get a Good result here, like where you can just coast home and play Yusufa Mukoko. That'd be cool. What do you see being the deciding factor between two teams who have a very similar tactical approach? Uh, it'll come down to whoever executes their game plan the best. We know each other well. Having the best defense in the Champions League must have you looking forward to another win. I'm proud of the record and the work that's gone into it. We will continue to work hard to keep getting better. So their squad... Sensio on the left, no Hazard, and Buendia on the right. The rest of the team looked pretty standard, but no Hazard's huge. We've got what I think is really one of our best squads in terms of being a little bit more defensively solid, with Chan in there. Like, obviously, typically I'm going to be starting Bellingham, because I want to give him as much growth as possible, but in these matches, you kind of have to go with the more veteran approach, because I, I want to get results here. I want to get a win. Or a draw. I'd prefer a win, obviously, but I'll take a draw. And looks like Benzema's on there, but yeah, the Hazard isn't even on the bench, so he must be injured. Varane with a header, just goes over the bar. Warning shot in the first 25 minutes. It's been their first shot. Well, they, it wasn't their first shot on target because it was off target, but they've had one shot on target. Royce with the corner, Hummels to head it on, and it's going to find the back of the net. Mats Hummels hasn't done much this season, but he scores here. Finds the back of the net. Gives us the lead. Good ball in by Royce. Hummels at the near post. Heads it towards the near post. Beats the keeper. He rises highest. And we are 1-0 up with our first shot on target. Kind of FMing them. But I will take it. Every day of the week. I get FM so much. Sometimes it would be nice to do it to the other team. So it is it is nice. When D on the right is really interesting too. Bringing him into Real Madrid. Like I know he's good. But. Is he Real Madrid quality? Uh, probably not. He's playing for Norwich. Like, any player that's starting for Norwich probably shouldn't ever be playing for Real Madrid. No offense, Norwich fans. Oh, Berkey, what are you doing? He, like, shrunk away from the ball. He, he like, I think he went as small as possible, touched it with his little fingertips. Like, what is that? He's like sat there and waited for the till the ball was already in the net before he reacted. That is some terrible goalkeeping. I don't know if that's just the match engine not being good enough to represent what actually happened, or him just being a terrible goalkeeper. But that was not good. We really need Martin Randevoort to do some developing because we need a goalkeeper. Berkey is not it. Uh, what do we say at halftime? One one. I don't want to say they've been unlucky. Like I want to say I'm happy. Because we've got the result we need, but that's, I think that's the best thing for me to say. Because this won't get a result. I'm not happy. They probably won't like that because they're supposed to be underdogs. 
Uh, gonna say I'm happy. That gets the result I want. It gets them inspired and motivated. I knew it would, so yeah, let's just say whatever we need to say to get a good reaction from the team, get them in a good frame of mind, go out there and see if we can steal a winner. It's been a very even game. We have got a little bit XG advantage, but both have about the same amount of shots on target, same amount of shots in general. Sancho has a chance here. One on two, but Sancho's pretty good. He's going to beat his first man. If he can beat the second one, puts a shot in towards the far post, but it goes just over. That was a good spot for him, too. If he could have just found the top of that corner, that would have been a goal. We would have been sailing. Like I would feel pretty comfortable we're going to go through if we got one more goal, because they need two in not a whole lot of time. And our de like they've said going into this match, we've had the best defense in the Champions League. So, and doing that in a group with Real Madrid is pretty impressive. I know Olympiacos and Young Boys aren't big hitters, but Real Madrid could easily smack us on their, if they're on their game. They haven't yet. Last game was a nil-nil. This one's just a 1-1. One -one. Uh, Rain has not played well. He's going to come off. I'm going to bring on Bellingham, I guess. Bring on Bellingham. Blaney hasn't had his best game. His check's been terrible, so he's going to come off at the next opportunity. He played well last game, which so I gave him another chance this game, but he's, it's not been his game. He's pretty good for a guy that's going to be retiring at the end of the season, but yeah, he's just not having a good game today. Sancho hasn't really done a whole lot other than that one counterattack. Puts the ball across here, though, but Courtois is able to get out to it. Now it's time to take Piszczek off. Bring on Mounier. Kanji heading that back. Maybe the... Is this going to continue? This might be a highlight still. Royce backheeled from... Holland! Royce with a back heel from Bellingham finds the ball through to Holland and he smashes it into the to the right of the goalkeeper. Well placed finish. I thought that was a, basically a nothing highlight. Look at this back heel by Bellingham. Oh, that's just dirty. And then the through ball by Royce. Wow. It left me at a loss for words. That was awesome. I love seeing that. That was really cool. That back heel was you don't see that very often. You don't see that animation very often. And I brought him on, and he paid dividends. He was a big part in that goal. Tell the team to focus. I'm going to start wasting time. Probably going to go a little bit more defensive with our shape. Let's give it about the 85th minute. Holland's tired, but too bad. Uh, can Royce and Sancho play a little bit deeper? I think they can. Yeah, it says, like, it says they should, so I'll play them a little bit deeper. Play them both as inverted wingers on support. Oh, I guess he'll just be a winger. Maybe a wide playmaker. Maybe like a wide playmaker. Why not? Bring our Mazala's back a little bit. Uh, Definitely bring Guerrero back. Wing back on defend. Moutier could be a fullback on defend. Uh, One more sub left. I think only one sub. Or do we have multiple subs? I think we actually have like five subs. So... Got quite a bit of subs left. Sancho is tired. Played okay. Is there a defensive option we could bring on at right back? I mean, we could have brought on Mounier at right back, but Piszczek has to come off. He's playing far too poorly. Could bring on Passlack. Screw it, I'm doing it. Bring on Passlack. He's not going to play as a wide playmaker, though. He's going to play as a defensive, win defensive winger. Uh, Who else? Delaney's on a yellow, which is not ideal, but I don't... I mean, I could bring on Witzel for him, but he's not super defensive. Could move Chan back and then bring Witzel on as a Mazala. That's a definite option. Or I could do this. Uh, Chan is a defensive midfielder on defend. Bellingham's going to play as a roaming playmaker. Why not? And take off Delaney for Witzel. Is a deep line playmaker on defend. Both a defensive 4 2 3 1. I think we have one sub left. I'll save for a time wasting sub. I'll go defensive. Really going to see this game out. Should be fine from here on out. They need two goals. Like, if we don't win the game, I'm not going to cry about it. Yeah, I'm not going to cry about it unless they score again. Dang it. We go defensive and they immediately score. That's not great. That's why you should never go defensive because you're just. Asking them to, I guess this is just a free kick, so it's just a freak thing that, no way I could have controlled that. Just don't concede another. Please don't concede another. One sub left. 
I think I'm going to take... I can't really take Bellingham off. I just brought him back on. I, he can play for Royce. I'm going to move him out to the left for Royce. And I'm going to bring on a center back. Zagadu. The ball playing defender on defend. He's actually quick. I want Hubbles in the middle. Zagadu on the right. Akanji on the left. It'll go like a 5-4-1. Defensive 5-4-1. That works. We don't have any more subs, do we? No. Okay. Just to make sure. See this game out. Two minutes left. It's been an even game. I think 2-2 is a fair result. That's what it's going to be. Two draws with Real Madrid. 1-0-0, 1-2-2. And we're going to go through top of the group. I'm going to say, well done, lads. You just proved a lot of people wrong in avoiding defeat out there. I'm happy with the draw. I'm very happy with the draw. Any result was good. We got top of the group. That's what I wanted. We get an easier draw for the next round. See, quite a bit of money for that. Delaney's going to be out for the next match. Hopefully it's an easy team, so we don't need him to play. But we won't get the draw until after this Stuttgart game. It was, I saw it was like in the 14th or something like that was when the draw is. So we're not going to find out today who we're drawing for the next round. But in terms of when I come back, it might be for the next round of Champions League. Well, it's already drawn here, but... That's actually a, quite a ways away. I might come back for Leipzig instead. Maybe Leipzig and Leverkusen. Wolfsburg are actually doing better. Uh, I might do Wolfsburg-Leipzig. Then come back for the Champions League after that. I don't see anything wrong with that. So I'll see you next time for Wolfsburg and RB Leipzig. Second in the table and fifth in the table right now. If you made it this far, why don't you like the video, subscribe, and click the bell. The links to all my socials are also in the description. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time.